Hello to everyone and good evening to you. This is Joanna and this evening we're going to demo the Scorpio plate. The MoU London um, Zodiac Scorpio plate, the number 10. I did try to do this before because this plate still had the wrapping on it, but I lost the video. So I'm going to try this again. And the polish shade that I have on today is my Essie Bikini Sotini. I think when I first tried it, I had on this color here because I plan to use this shade in another demo. Watch your stepsister. I really like this shade. I want to do something with it. And right now I'm at a dilemma as to what I want to do as far as a nail look, but I'm looking for things to do. But I'm going to demo this plate using this color here, and I'm going to use my Rika Black. And I hope my polish is long enough or dry enough. The only thing I hate is I had gotten a really good pickup of this and had it on my thumb that day, but something happened with my phone and then I accidentally deleted the video. So we're going to start off and I'm just going to try to do the same thing. I don't remember much of what I did, so we're going to do this like it is the first take. I've got a bunch of stuff around my table here as usual. I need to start cleaning this table off. So the first thing that I plan to do is um, I am going to pick up the face. And I don't know if this is my new bottle or not. I hope it is. I'm kind of ill prepared, but I'd really want to do this because I really liked this plate. And I haven't done any looks from the plate yet, but see I really like this I want to figure out how to shrink that down see that and she's got that cigarette there and that's a really good image so I'm gonna see I won't get all of it but I'm gonna get as much of it as I can here so I do like that I like that a lot I'm gonna try to hold that there so you can really see it So I like that. Now I'm going to try to um, also get these wings. That's another huge image. So you can see this. I really like these plates. And as I keep saying, I have not done any looks with these plates yet besides demoing them. But I have a couple that I want to try to do some looks with. Okay, there's the wing section. And... Any of you out there that do jewelry, these plates would be really good for that. Okay. And see, that's the wing section. I got some stuck up right there. So, let's see. I want to um, go along. I don't know what this big symbol is up here on these plates. I'm going to have to look that up and find out or if anyone out there knows and can tell me. I know all of the plates contain them. I don't know if that's like a specific symbol, but I do like it, but it's very, very solid. And I know all the plates seem to be set up that way with these, so. But see, look at that. I don't know why this polish is doing that. I know that polish does sometimes and it's not interfering with the pickup. It's just like a little vinyl film. Let's see. I have so much clutter around my table right now too. I know that often I get asked about lint rollers and why I don't use one. I do have some. Some were gifts, some were winnings and I bought one. But like I keep saying, the reason is I have so much stuff around my table like where my phone is, which is this is the part that you guys see. I have stuff on either side. If I was to do one of these numbers and just spread my hands out, stuff would go everywhere. Let's see. This is a skull. I'm going to try to get this again. I don't think I got a good pickup there. But for the people that like skulls, I didn't even know this was on here until I was doing um, that demo. Like when I bought the plate and when I was looking at the plate, I didn't notice this until my first failed attempt at trying to stamp it. So see... And I'm going to try to put this one here. I don't really like skulls much. Even the sugar skulls. I think they're cute to look at. But for myself, I just don't. But I would wear skulls on my nails before the snakes that I hate. So Now I really like this bottom section here. And before I show you the flowers, there's two more little bitty skulls down here. 
two itty bitty ones so these would be good in a Halloween stamping right there and I'm gonna try to put those right along here see how that goes now my intent as I've also said before is to try to demo all 12 of these plates for you guys I wish I would have thought to have done it in order because I think I demoed the Virgo plate when I first got these months back and that video is going to be separated from these like these videos are just going to be separated by a few and that one's like way off separated but I do plan and I put the name there so I don't know if like you type in Scorpio if it will pop up but for some reason my apartment is smoking hot today I love this rose I am running out of my little pads like this. I have more. It's just here at my table. I've only got like three and I do not want to get up and move. So let's see. And again, if there's any particular parts of these plates that you want to see that I don't show, just let me know. That's part of the words. And there's a little bird up there. So I'm seeing things now that I didn't see before. And I like that. Sometimes you do. You'll find things on your plate that you didn't pay any attention to before. And I want to place another order. There are so many new plates. Like I don't have any of the new illusions. And I've said I wanted more doodles. Some game plates. My next order from them. I did just order the cancer plate. But my plan is the next time I can place a big order, like whenever I order 10 to 12 plates, that's not the biggest order I've placed, but that's usually as big as I go right off the bat when I can spare an extra hundred. I plan to try to get one plate from each of the collections that I don't have. Because I don't like every collection, but I do like at least one plate within each collection, so I don't have any games. I don't have any of the new punk, so I plan to try to get a plate from each of those and I'm thinking that when I do stamps from this I might want to do them in color so let's see I'm gonna go up here along the top and get this scorpion for people that like scorpions and it's a very nice one there I was thinking there was, okay, there's one that has two, and then there's this one that I'm going to get that has the one. And if I sound funny, it's because someone at my job gave me a cold. I get so mad when that happens. I don't like getting near people, but they all want to tease me and make fun of me. Because when they start doing that hacking and coughing that they do, I move away from them, and I have Lysol, and they're like, oh, I don't have a cold. I don't have a cold. I'm just coughing, you know, and then next thing you know my nose is running and I get really upset because in the winter time because I catch public transportation if I catch a cold that cold is gonna last in me longer than it would averagely because I'm outside all the time and then in the summer well who wants to be sick in the summer but I'm not a germaphobe I'm starting to feel like I'm one <laughs> it's just that you know if I have a cold and you're near me I'm not going to sneeze all over you and cough out in the air and not cover my mouth. And I think what bugs me about that the most is I work in healthcare. And in healthcare, especially, you always see in the wintertime about flu and cold, the little signs up about, you know, cover your mouth, sneeze into a tissue or inside your arm. And then here are these people who work in healthcare with me don't even bother to cover their mouth when they're doing all that coughing. So that's what bugs me. And rather than to just admit that they're not, you know, really trying to keep people from getting their cold they'd rather make fun of me so fine with me but anyway I'm now sick I'm sick enough to where I sound funny but not sick enough you know to where like I need to take cold medicine in the summer but I am a miserable person when I'm sick and I'm one of those people that like to mope around I can't work when I'm sick I'm so mopey I turn into like when my kids were little. Now there's another one. I don't know. Let's see where I can put that one at. I really like this, but I know I need to use these plates. So what have I done so far? I've done all 
Okay, so I'm out of fingers. So what I'm going to do really quickly here is just pick some images up for you all. Just try to go along the plate and pick up some things that maybe I didn't get. I think like this top section here. So there's that. And there's that. And then I'm going to do another of this face because the hat is what I'm after. This hat of hers has some detail in it. It's got some skulls and chains in it. See right there? That's her hat. That has the little, I'm assuming those are chains and the little skull right there. And then the hand. I haven't really gotten the hand here with the cigarette. And see, that could be an interesting stamp on its own. Let's see, get something else here. And then I will end this out. I might have gotten everything for you though. I think I did, but just in case. Do one more down here along this area here. Now I am at some point going to be demoing something else, so I'll probably do some more demos. Let's see that. I like to go between the areas now. I find that that's something I really like doing rather than um, go right directly on an image and see here what I did was I went in between all this area and then that's what I got even though that's not big enough to fit on my finger it would probably make a cute little ring or little jewelry piece but that's it that's all I have on this one and again I'm going to be demoing these videos but the ones that you know that I haven't shown, like say maybe next you want to see Gemini before I do Libra, just let me know and I'll do that. But otherwise, I will be um, probably trying to demo some more next week along my off days. But that was it. Until the next time, everyone have a great evening.